This week alone, the country has recorded more than 1,500 COVID-19 cases and the situation is slowly starting to spiral barely a day after President Uhuru Kenyatta lifted the cessation of movement to and from COVID-19 epicenters. The war against the coronavirus pandemic continues to take shape in the country as the number of infections continues to rise each passing day, an indication that the healthcare system in the country is likely to be burdened by the increasing number of COVID-19 infections. With this in mind, the Ministry of Health has quickly started implementing home-based care protocols as a way of relaxing pressure of treating asymptomatic patients from the existing healthcare facilities. If you are asymptomatic, if you sample any of you and put you here today, your bill for today will be 21,300 and 65% of that cost is driven by PPEs. So based on that and because of the strain in the economy, we customize the WHO guidelines through our case management team in the ministry together with academia, the development partners and we have developed a very good criteria. As the number of infections in the country continues to rise, so is the level of infections among healthcare workers who are the frontline soldiers in the war against the invisible enemy. Yesterday, Kenya lost their first doctor to COVID-19 who contracted the virus in line of duty. And today, two more health workers are alleged to have died from the deadly virus. The risk posed by this pandemic to healthcare workers is immense because they are the first port of call when people go to seek service. And therefore, naturally, they are exposed. But on top of that, of course, healthcare workers are equally exposed at the community level. And because of the nature of transmission of COVID-19, it is very, very difficult to pinpoint where somebody acquired the infection. But that notwithstanding, as, an, as a government, we stand very firmly with the healthcare workers. And that is why we have gone ahead to ensure that we have done capacity building, provided personal uh, protective equipment, and continuously give them moral and psychosocial support. Up to now, the country has done tests to 207,987 samples in 42 counties since March 13th, and the country's coronavirus disease burden now stands at 9,726. The last 24 hours, tests have been carried out to samples from 1,403 people, and 278 people have contracted the virus. We would like to reiterate the importance of observing containment measures. If we have to overcome this virus, you must not relax in this fight. We therefore urge you to strictly adhere to the infection prevention control measures. Nairobi and Mombasa continue to lead with the highest numbers of infections with 5,350 and 1,722 cases respectively. Health CAS Dr. Massimo Angangi has confirmed that three more patients have died from the virus, increasing the number of fatalities to 184. On a positive note, some 99 patients were discharged, rising the number of recoveries in the country to 2,832. Samson Jura, KUTV Weekend Prime.